Judah here with Wolves reporter Tim Spears bringing you a latest, a latest on the Tammy Abraham, what is now a saga, Tim. It's a saga. So what is going on? Is he staying? Is he going? Is he maybe not staying? Is he potentially going? What, what's, 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 what's happening? What's happening? I'm, I'm bored of it, to be honest. I'm, I'm bored of this saga. I'm bored of you. It's been, <laughs> right, steady on. It's, uh, it's been dragging on a while. Yeah. And there's lots of, an awful lot of mixed messages. Uh, for the past week, really, we were expected a decision from the player mm. uh, in kind of the last 24, 48 hours. Suggestions this morning that he's turned to Wolves down and he's staying at Villa. Uh, Jack Grealish certainly seems to think so. In fact, even on social media, there's mixed messages. Grealish today with his uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Yes, a very good movie. I haven't watched it. Um, saying uh, with a picture of Abraham saying, "I'm mm. not, I'm not effing leaving." I'm not what. I'm not effing leaving. Oh, okay, yeah. And then, and then last last night you had Balassi saying, "Please don't Please go." Please don't go. Yeah. And Abraham replied with some kind of mm, sad, yeah, yeah, yeah. sad yeah. face, which obviously means that he's gone. Yeah, exactly. So it's all, it's it's crazy. Yeah. And um, those are just the players involved, exactly. let alone let alone the peeps who want to know. I think reading between the lines, I think he's got sick of this as well, mm -hmm. and sick of waiting around because he just wants to play. He's happy at Villa. Surely he's enjoying himself. Mm. Certainly enjoying himself on the field. Scoring goals, sixteen goals in twenty. Mm. I don't think he necessarily just j just speculating here. I don't think he necessarily thought he was going to be moving in January. No. And then Wolves come in for him with a promise of uh, playing for a team in the, in the top half of the league, mm. raise his profile. Um, I'm sure he's got England ambitions as well. He's had a good one, a couple of caps for them. Um, but but since Wolves' interest a week and a bit ago, it's dragged on. Um, I think Wolves unsure maybe of the deal that they wanted to do. Would it be permanent? Would it be a loan? Would it be a loan with an option? And then you've got this FIFA issue which is dragging on. So I thought that was all done and dusted though, the FIFA issue. From what I gather, it, it was all done and dusted uh, from a domestic point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, the FA and the Premier League got no issue with it whatsoever. Okay. The issue is then going with to FIFA. And the issue is, I don't think it's easy to get an answer out of FIFA. And I think the issue is if, if they sign him on loan mm. and then they take that transfer, and FIFA rejects it and say no, you can't do that. They're knackered. Then the player in mm -hmm. particular is is stuck in limbo. Yeah. And I think um, he'll be nervous about that situation where he could potentially sign for Wolves mm. and not be able to play for them. So obviously Wolves Wolves need a little cheeky little wink from FIFA to say, hey, you'll you'll be all right with this. FIFA one. don't do that. They don't do that. Do you know what I mean? But I think it's not as easy as as speaking yeah. to the FA or the Premier League to ratify it. So. They're still waiting for a bit of a nod and a wink from FIFA that yes, mm. if you sign on this, be okay. But um, he was a training today at Villa. Yeah, that's, that's confirmed. Wasn't there yesterday? Was there today? Right. And I think yeah, he's. I think the message from him seems to be, I'm staying at Villa for now. Mm. And if Wolves and FIFA can get their act together, yeah, and put together a deal where he can be a Wolves player for the second half of the season, we'll still hope for that this can get done. Mm. Um, from speaking to people at the club, it's. It's not over. Mm. It's not. It's not over yet. They are. They still think there's a chance of getting Abraham if they can sort out all the rules, regulations, whatever. Put a deal in place. There you go, Tammy. Sign on the dotted line. Mm. They still think it can happen. So, uh, Chelsea have got this recall from January the fourteenth. So, so does it need to happen before then? So it's going to be within the next four, four to five days if he is going to go to to, to Wolves. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah. What would it be? A week? Yeah, just mm. under a week. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The the, the word that I'm hearing is frustration. Mm. Frustration on Wolves' part that they haven't been able to get this done yet, yeah. and that this is dragging on. Um, I gather that, that they're putting pressure on FIFA to to get some clarity, mm. but unless that's forthcoming, then nothing's happening. So, so in the meantime, uh, Villa have got Wigan away at the weekend, mm. and Tammy Abraham, I'm sure, would rather play in that game. Of course, yeah. not, and he's and he's, it seems like he's made good friends at Villa, mm -hmm. um, having a great time. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to pee them off. Mm -hmm. Couldn't think of another word, so just went with that mm. one. Um, so yeah, so for now, staying at Villa, but to be continued. So, so should FIFA and Wolves come to an agreement and say, okay, yeah, he, if if you sign him on loan, then he would be eligible to play for you. Then a Wolves back in back in the driving seat, would you say? Back and in the game, back in the game. Well, yeah, we should clarify. This, the issue is that that he's played for Villa obviously this season and played for Chelsea in the Community Shield and an Under Twenty Three game, mm -hmm. and there have been precedents in the in the past where you can't that's not allowed because mm -hmm. you can't play for three clubs in a season. Mm -hmm. But um, they're mostly um, young players that this happens to and uh, players that maybe go under the radar where this is quite a high profile signing so yeah. I think FIFA wants to be seen to be setting a precedent here mm -hmm. for what actually is the rule. It can't be one rule for one player sure. and one for another. So I think again that's where they're dragging their heels a little bit. Is this, 
does Tammy Abraham, is it, is it his choice whether he wants to come to Wolves or is it Chelsea's choice? If Chelsea say no, you know, we, Villa are playing so many, a percentage of your wages, but Wolves are going to pay the full whack, so I don't care what, if you want to go or not, you're going, pal. I don't think it's in Chelsea's interest at all to annoy, the, to annoy their player. And if Abraham, what, Abraham's got an agreement to stay with Villa for the season, if Chelsea then for, force him to go to Wolves mm. and he doesn't want to go, I can't, mm. I can't see that happening personally. Right. Chelsea have got an asset here, a, a young English player who's, who's played for England, a striker with, um, with a very big future in the game, essentially. So I'm not sure it's going to get that nasty, mm -hmm. to be honest. But it just needs to be done now. It's dragging on. Wolves, for their part, yes, they want to bring a striker in this month. Mm -hmm. They're not desperate to do so. Mm -hmm. So Raul Jimenez scored his seventh of the season last mm -hmm. night. Yes, he needs some help up front. Bonatini out of the picture at the moment. They do need to bring someone in. Abraham's their number one target. Mm -hmm. They'd love to bring him in. They've, they've got plenty of time to do so in this mm -hmm. January window and they've got a few more days to try and get this over the line. If not, they'll move on. But if realistically uh, Tammy Abraham does come, he's, he's going to probably be on the bench, isn't he, quite a lot, you'd have thought, because the way that Wolves are playing, the, Wolves, the way that they set out, Nuno sets out, Jimenez is the number one. Mm -hmm. Potentially, unless he's thinking about going two up front. I mean, we saw two up front last night, mm -hmm. albeit with Jota, who's playing very well. You'd say, very well. Very well. Uh, <laughs> very, very well. <laughs> Germany didn't have uh, it's uh, it's certainly, you certainly... You certainly want Jota in your team at the moment. Yeah. So, but there's got to be him and his can't play every game for the rest mm -hmm. of the season. Is there's a burnout issue with him, I think, and they want to keep him as fresh as possible and scoring goals. I've seen it in the past. Remember Bod Varson being flogged for half a season because <laughs> there was nobody else. Poor lad, and he just looked absolutely shot to pieces. So you don't want a situation like that. He needs some help. Abraham will get game time at Wolves, and he'll get the opportunity to score quite a few goals, I think, with mm -hmm. the chances that Wolves lay on, and that will. Obviously, be massive for him. It'd be massive for Wolves. Could help them get to what they want to do this season. It'd also be good for Chelsea to to raise this guy's profile, to raise his value. More importantly, because he had a stinker at Swansea, um, he's done it in the Championship. He needs to prove that he can do it in the Premier League. He's potentially got an opportunity to do that with Wolves in the second half of the season. But there are a few hurdles in the way. Let's hope they can sort it out. If I, if I gave you ten thousand English pounds today, yes, please. Like um, February the first. Where is Tammy Abraham? Wolverhampton Wanderers. Or Aston Villa, where would your money be? Timothy Spears. It's a bit complicated at the moment. I think I think Villa would be the favourites to keep hold of him for the rest of the season. But like I said, it's not it's not over yet, and Wolves are still hopeful that there's a chance that they can get this done. We shall see. Let's hope it's just sorted out.